Is it a fool's goal to think you can increase your assay throughput and simultaneously get more information to guide your decision making in candidate selection and hit identification? I'm Paul Belcher and joining me today are some colleagues who are going to explain how recent advances in SPR are addressing the challenges in drug discovery today. The typical or traditional approach to developing new drugs is based on screening large libraries of compounds, be it small molecules, fragments or antibodies, against the target of interest. These initial hits are then gradually optimised using medicinal chemistry or antibody engineering. Current screening approaches are designed for the most efficient way to screen these large libraries of compounds and they're based on the most advanced technologies that we use today. But they only often give you a single data point to aid in your candidate selection. The wonderful thing about science is it doesn't stand still and my colleagues will be sharing their insights on the challenges in drug discovery today and just some of the solutions that have been developed to tackle these challenges. And joining me today is my colleague Jade Samana. Jade. Hi Paul. So what are the current challenges being faced in drug discovery today? Paul, we're seeing that the challenges being faced are multifold, starting with a high, de, a high pressure to increase the number of samples to be processed. Next, we're seeing an increase in the challenge with respect to the targets. Consequently, drugs are becoming more complex. For instance, there are bispecific antibodies, antibody conjugates, viral vectors, and the list continues. And as you can imagine, all of this must be completed under budgetary and resource restrictions with high demand for operational efficiency and time savings. Thank you, Jade. And joining me next is my colleague, Jason Schumann. Welcome, Jason. So what are the current screening processes that people are using? Usually companies start with a very large library and screen that and then narrow down to their best uh, hits with a much smaller library. So is this typically done on one type of technology or instrument? No. Traditionally, uh, it starts with a technique that is amenable to high throughput, such as an enzymatic assay or LISA, and then characterize further with SPR or another technique. Uh, some do use NMR that is uh, low throughput and uh, requires deconvolution and pooling. So that takes time. Thank you, Jason. So joining me next is my colleague, Holly Krupp. Welcome, Holly. Hello. So what do we have in front of us today? It's our Beacor AK series, our latest high sensitivity, high throughput, platform for measuring affinity, kinetics, and concentration. Interesting. So tell me, Holly, how does the Beacore 8K fit into the traditional workflows, and how does it also provide extra value against some of the older traditional technologies that Jason just told us about? Screening characterization can now be performed in one instrument, and this may change the way that you work. Thank you, Holly. Thank you. And joining me next is my colleague, Claire Shepard. Welcome, Claire. Hi, Paul. So following on from what we just heard from Holly, how does the Beacore 8K system provide added value in the drug discovery process? So the Beacore 8K and 8K Plus systems are eight needle systems. Um, so this allows you to screen molecules eight times faster um, than a single needle system. Um, this is without a trade-off in sensitivity. So importantly, the Beacore 8K and 8K Plus are more sensitive than the Beacore T200, which was previously the gold standard for sensitivity and characterization experiments. Um, additionally, instead of um, just reporting yes-no binding in your experiments, you see additional information about your molecule in the shape of the sensorgram, and this can identify problematic molecules early on in the drug discovery process. Interesting, so it can potentially more early identify false positives? Yes, exactly. So um, because of the increase in throughput, it's possible to screen multiple concentrations um, at an early stage in the process. And um, this can identify 
um, molecules that might have non-specific binding properties or other things like aggregation. So I understand why uh, increased throughput or higher throughput is important now, but how does increased sensitivity help me in the, in the screening process? So in drug discovery today, orthogonal methods are used in order to correlate results and validate your hits. However, these can be biased towards the least sensitive um, method used. So um, increasing the sensitivity during the screening process reduces the risk of missing important information. Thank you, Claire. Thank you, Paul. And next up is Matthew Bloom. Welcome, Matthew. Hey, Paul. So I, I think I understand now how higher throughput and, and higher sensitivity allows me to screen and characterize my compounds better. But does that not just shift the bottleneck through to the analytical stage in the drug discovery process? Yeah, it's a good question. I think it's really easy to focus on the physical throughput of instruments like this. Um, but it's important to think about how you're going to handle all that data once the experiment's over. Uh, with the new BioCore Insight evaluation software, uh, you can do affinity uh, or kinetic screening evaluation with just a few simple clicks. Um, and the software is equally adept at handling uh, large data sets from a screening effort, uh, as well as just a single, you know, detailed characterization of a, of a single interaction. Um, thankfully, it's also streamlined in such a way that you can take data from your BioCore T200, a BioCore S200, or either of the BioCore 8K series of instruments and analyze them in the Insight evaluation software side by side. Uh, so it offers a wide variety of ways to um, you know, evaluate your data, as well as giving you some, uh, the ability to customize how you display that data and report it out to your team, whether it's an export to Excel, uh, PowerPoint, or even a PDF. So just so I, I can be clear on this, there's now one software that allows me to analyze data from multiple different vehicle systems. Yeah, absolutely. That's a really great feature of the BioCore Insight Evaluation software. You can directly import data from either a BioCore T200, a BioCore S200, or the BioCore AK series of instruments and analyze them side by side. So Matt, how does the software handle it if I have data from different types of applications, say screening, you mentioned already characterization, what happens if I'm doing concentration analysis? So yeah, so the BioCore Insight Evaluation software is modular, so you can stick with just the basic screening and characterization package, but if you find yourself in a position where you do need to do assays such as concentration, or even to introduce uh, GXP capability to your BioCore 8K instruments, uh, you can purchase additional modules specific for those things, so you really only just pay for what you need in the software. Software. Additionally, uh, we have a couple different ways that you can uh, purchase licenses. So in the past, you would have to have one license for each user, but now you can purchase a batch of licenses that can be shared across the entire site and multi -computer, multiple computers, just depending on how many simultaneous users you really need. So there's now application-specific software solutions? Absolutely. That's a great feature of the software. Thank you, Matt. And I get to welcome back Jason Schumann. Hello, Paul. So, Jason, I noticed behind us there's two different types of vehicle 8K systems. Can you tell me a little bit about the differences between the two of them? Good question. So, the B-Core 8K has a place for four plates on two trays, and that is great throughput. The B-Core 8K Plus has up to uh, 12 plates on six trays, so it can hold over a maximum of 4,600 samples for very long run, unattended runtime. In addition, the BioCore AK Plus has a buffer selector valve to allow for uh, a continuous evaluation using the hotel of up to four running buffers, four different running buffers. So, 12 plates over 4,500 compounds that, and unattended runtime, that must significantly reduce your dead time in the lab. Significantly. Thank you. So I'd just like to thank my colleagues one more time for joining me today to discuss what are the current challenges in the drug discovery process and highlight just some of the solutions for those, the challenges in that space, which include the BioCore 8K systems. We heard how increased throughput using the BioCore 8K systems can significantly result, reduce your time to result, but importantly, how the increased sensitivity provides much more information earlier so you can uh, weed out potential things like false positives as early as possible in the process. We also saw how, and heard from Matthew about the importance of software and removing the bottleneck in the analytical phase using the flexible 
Vehicle Insight software, the different modules that offer application-specific solutions.